Hello and welcome to Pocket Mirror Golden Atrom, an RPG Maker horror game developed by Vizu Stella and Astral Shift, available on Steam. And well, this is actually uh, kind of like a remake of the original Pocket Mirror that I think came out in 2016. And uh, well, apparently it's about a girl on a journey for self-discovery. I guess we'll see what happens. A uh, little content warning though, this is a horror game, so it may contain some disturbing elements. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's gaze, I guess. Let's gaze. Hold your memories close to your heart. You shouldn't ever let it go. Do you understand? Yes, mother. Where am I? You can move. And use spacebar. Interact. This is... A pocket mirror. You know, the game's namesake. My pocket mirror. You know, I've heard of pocket watches, but I actually never heard of pocket mirrors. Um... Oh no, you're a vampire. I can't see my own reflection. No, maybe it's just a very dirty mirror. <laughs> but, but yeah. You know, I, I was planning on playing the original Pocket Mirror. I actually never played it. I never played the original uh, version of this game. The original version, I believe, was on Itch.io. And I think it's still available. But um, yeah, I was planning on playing it. But then I, I, I heard that the game is going to be like remade and everything. And it's going to have like better graphics, you know, it's going to be like, you know, everything's going to be redone and everything and with better quality. So, you know, I just kind of waited for the remake and well, it came out quite recently, at least at the time of playing this. Uh, I can't reach the window. I think I've seen these flowers before. Fragile looking flowers bloom through the cracks in the floor. Let's look around a little bit. I guess that's it. Nothing new here. And yeah, I mean, this game is definitely inspired by, by I believe, Ib and the Witch's House. You know, classic RPG Maker games. So it seems to be something like you know that I like uh, this game. The door's closed though, so we can't leave. Hmm. Look at the mirror again. Oh, what is that? What was that? Oh, it's some kind of orb. 
red marble. A marble? Uh, who's there? Hmm? It just opens. There's no one here. Hmm. There are a few shallow holes in the ground. Strange. Hmm. Let's put marbles in there, maybe, possibly. Uh, let's see. Items recollect. I'm assuming that's a load. Items. No, I look at this actually. Hmm. It's on shortcuts. Interestingly enough. I'm assuming this is save, yep. And I like like look at these items. A golden pocket mirror. Its lid is beautifully adorned with a fancy flower pattern. The letter G can be spotted on its back. G. Jeez. Glass marble. Nothing especially unique about that. Well, what do we do? It's locked. Hmm. Too bright outside. You know, kind of bolstering the theory that you're a vampire. <laughs> Down the, uh, the marble's glowing. Hmm. Interesting. That seems to imply we need to drop it here. But can we go this way? Our knob's broken, though. Can't open it, unfortunately. Our knob's missing again. Well, the only thing we can do, I guess, is just drop it down here. Possibly. Because why not? You know, that makes sense. It fits. Alrighty. And does that make a save? And we go forwards. Uh, Gillette? Egilet. I wonder who drew this. I don't know, was that doll here before? I don't know. Hmm. These look like they've been drawn by children. Hmm. Was this here before? What's this? Was the compass? West? East and south? Hmm. Oh, the doll's moved again. This doll wasn't here before. Hee <laughs> hee. Got a green marble. Hmm. I don't want to approach it. Look at that again. Oh, we can just leave. I guess the, the hint for the marble is just to go to the left. That's all it was. But yeah, this game also has kind of like, um... I don't know, like a gothic... Uh, supposedly like a gothic fantasy kind of feel to it as well. Just by looking at her clothes and everything, so fancy. Let's see, where would I put this marble? Is it... Is there like a certain order to this? Well, I guess we'll just go. It's... It's hard to breathe in here. You know, supposedly there's voice acting in this game as well. You know, at least it was credited in the uh, store page. It said, you know, features and one was voice acting. Um, doesn't seem like there's full voice acting, though. I don't know. Anyway. What's this? Um... Please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's not my fault. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me be. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. These are... The 
The quill floats eerily, scribbling down on the old scraps of paper. How strange. The weeping angel claps his hands in prayer, holding a rosary in between its fingers. Splash in the blood real quick, you know, like it's like splashing in the in the in the puddle after the rain. Wee, wee, that 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 that. No, there's something shining inside. Kodaga kotowaru. I leave. I splash in the blood some more, and I leave. I go home. I don't know where my home is. No, okay. My hand is stuck. Just press Z real quick. Just press it a little, a little bit. Do, 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 do. Am I in, I'm really in a hurry? I don't know. It seems like I failed that. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. I, I just wanted to see if I could fail that, but uh, turns out I don't think you can. Hmm. Let's say it's step completely worn out. I keep stepping on the blood. <laughs> My shoes are ruined. Hmm. Are you spread here? Are we collecting the infinity stones or something? That's what it seems like to me. It's so pretty. It's a shame it's so dusty. The mouth of the teapot overlo uh, overflows of a cloudy, grubby mode. Uh, oh, hello, uh, Elena, by the way. It looks like he's been painted over. Hmm. Now, what do I mean by that? Is it like stained glass? Ooh, that's what it seems like to me. Hmm. Anything to do here? Uh, Miss? Yes, who's there? Tell me, Miss, how does the sky look today? Oh, I. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it's blue? I see. Thank you. Here, you can have this. Okay, I don't know if it added... Because it, it was mentioned it was painted over, so I was wondering, like, maybe the, the, the sky's a lie or something? But actually, you, you just gave a straightforward answer. A dull yet strong light illuminates the room peeking through the grimy window. It's I don't know. Have you played this game before? I'm not sure. If you, I mean, if you have, then, you know, try not to spoil me, because I actually haven't played this yet. Uh, hello, Dark Aura VR, by the way. Save the game. You know, maybe I, maybe I wonder, maybe the answer doesn't matter, you know, for that part. A lot, you know, when you ask, like, what does the outside look like? Uh, it's stuck. Force it open. I use my muscles. I simply break door, the door down. Okay. Oh, oh. A lot of blood. I was gonna say, you know, we're back here. I don't know why we're going back to the same spot, but, uh, a bunch of blood. Hmm. The surface of the mirror has been soiled with fresh blood, which drips down its frame and onto the floor. What's this? It's a finger. It's like a finger you can use in Elden Ring, you know? There's, there's like multiple finger items you can use in Elden Ring. There's the PvP item as well, you know, you can use it to, uh, 
invade other players? You know, can I do that? Can I become a red phantom? No, um... Hmm. No, she just looks at it. Anything else I can do? Use a pocket mirror? No. Book prints. Hmm. Illuminated by the sun, between water and fire, I rest in the dark side of the moon, awaiting your awakening. What does that mean? Uh, you always try to get in my streams no matter what, even in school. Well, I think you should pay attention to school instead, <laughs> but anyway. You know, I mean, I appreciate the, the viewership, but, uh, you know. Definitely prioritize yourself first, you know? I don't know. What am I doing? So we didn't get, do we get marble, actually? I don't remember. We didn't get a marble. We got, got kind of locked out. Because normally we're supposed to get a marble, right? I don't have anything now. Hmm. Hmm. Illuminated by the sun between the water and fire. A rest in the dark side of the moon awaiting your awakening. So that might be a clue in that case. So I have to look for it, maybe. Possibly here. Uh, the keyhole is stuffed with strange mucus substance. Oh, you can't go back there, unfortunately. There's something on the window's parapet. Golden marble. Okay, there you go. I guess that was the clue to find it there. Possibly. Was it always there? <laughs> I, I doubt it. If it was that easy, you know. I feel like I would have gotten it already. Oops, I can just... Can't I just, like, uh, press W? It's interesting, yeah, there's hockey. I don't know if it was in the original game, but uh, yeah, sometimes the items that you get, you could just simply press the, the you know, the Q or W and then you, can just, you just activate it. It's pretty neat, actually. Uh, maybe my pocket mirror will fit in there. Not my pocket mirror. But it's the, it's like the plot item, you know? I need this. Oh, well. The game. We still don't know our real name, by the way. Though the back of the pocket mirror did say G, I guess. So maybe our name starts with G, maybe? Possibly. You should never let it go, do you understand? Oh. I died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, I think I know why, but it was kind of sudden. Game over. Let's try that again. Good thing I save. Good thing I'm a saveaholic and I save every five seconds. Uh, but yeah, I knew it. We sh we should, you know, keep this pocket mirror. And it's not cheating, you know. We, we use a puzzle item and then we just simply take it back. It's like you, it's like a vending machine, you know. It's like we put a string on a coin <laughs> and we put it in the vending machine and pull it back up. I mean, I don't think that trick works anymore in most modern vending machines. I don't, did it ever work? I don't know. Actually, I always just seen it on TV. People always use that trick to get their coin back. Another mirror. There's a big mirror here. And still no reflection. Creepy doll. Such a strange doll. The spines of these books are all scratched out. I can't read their titles. Oh, uh, it works in yours? Oh. Uh, for the, the, you know, the vending machines? Uh, the smiles you soon scratch now. Anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do any of these books? Do they have any important information? Double checking. Doesn't seem like it. The light is blinding me. These are about, uh, these are all about things I don't understand. It's a diary. There's something scribbled on the cover. 
Little Goody Two Shoes. I once lived in a small village when I was young. My youth was spent in hard labor and cold, sleepless nights. I often dreamt about a better future, one that could fill my stomach with luxurious sweets and thick, expensive steaks. One day, I heard an old woman talking about a strange rumor. She said that a certain someone had been granting wishes in the woods. Anyone who dared summon a certain name, someone who wasn't quite human. Okay. Oh, and the doll's moving. Great. What happened? Well, something happened. Uh, bye on um, the channel, by the way. Hmm. Put a creek on this this spot. No, no. If that's important. Um, yeah, I guess doll went into the mirror world. What happened? What's going on. A little bit of a question mark there. I can't really seem to interact with though. I guess maybe it's the diary. Somehow. Just activating that question mark. It's moving. Like water. Yep. All right, and now we're here. The red carpet. You know that sound, by the way? You know the sound when we, I mean, got, I guess, grabbed by the hands and I'm assuming transported. You know, same sound when the doll went to the mirror. That that, that distinct sound, you know, it's kind of like, they, they use that a lot, actually. In like movies and whatnot. Usually it's kind of like a... It, well, it's like a reverse sound, actually. It's like they play a sound. I'm not sure what the original sound source is, but they like they play a sound and then they reverse it in uh, in audio editor, and that's what that sound is. And it kind it's kind of reminiscent of like like you go back to the past or something, you know, like this a time travel thing. And like the like for example, like a bunch of uh, it's, it's like a if if a window you know broke, and there's like a scene where. The time is reversed, right? And then the windows go back to being normal, I guess. That's what that sound is, I feel like, you know? That's what it's reminiscent of, anyway. Um, blind as sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the just, childish play. Right and left, taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. Hmm. Wow. I don't know. I feel like this is important, but we can't really do anything with that yet. She's looking this way! Oh no, look away before you get turned into stone! What are we, Medusa? Uh, hello, uh, Blan. Blan K, I guess. Is this pumpkin snoring? I guess it is. It looks like just a normal mirror. Hmm. Well, there's that door. And there's this door. Looking for something? What do you mean? Hmm. I guess, alright, I mean, uh, it, the little poem implies that we need to go to our right and our left. So let's go through these doors, possibly. Well, now it's dark and spooky. There's an eyeball. I want to see once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in the mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-colored irises accompanied by only the reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters, which I've never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. In all honesty, who am I? To whom do these memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell inside the small room where I sit. Ever mind of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again. A thousand times has such a memory been showcased inside my small mind, and yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than 
my complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Okay. Freaking, uh, I don't know, she reminds me of Ray Moon, by the way, from Toho. I don't know, it's just the color scheme, really, and the hair. Living in this small room, I remember the dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet has been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my chair red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture in my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand, made me realize I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to, be, or leading me to a feeling of excitement which led my imagination astray. I was not, on, not only was I real, I was alive. The little girl reflected in the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet... As I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had crept into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my own room, where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. Okay. That seems to be like, I mean, it seems to allude to the doll that we saw before, sort of. No, it doesn't look like the doll, but it's kind of similar, right? It's like stuck in a room with nothing, you know, can't feel anything, can't see anything. But then suddenly you're in this different world and you're like suddenly human, I guess. And then you got, you know. But then you end up back in the room again. And now, she needs light. Put your faith in the light. Or something. What was that? I remember, I don't know much about World of Warcraft, to be honest. Or Warcraft in general, I guess. But I played Hearthstone for a little bit. And there's this, this one card that, like, it, it stands out in my memory. It was like this, this Paladin card. And you, when you play him, he says, Put your faith in the light. Or something. You know? I don't know. It's kind of epic. Um. An eyeball floats in the murky water, sealed in an old jar. Hmm. An eye for an eye. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> you know, are you talking about my eyes? I like my eyes. I don't want to take away my eyes, please. Nice. A pumpkin charm? Huh. Interesting. Let me a side objective, possibly. I don't want to save, like I'm scared, <laughs> you know? Um, I'm scared of dying. I'm just gonna like, save real quick. I, I just, I don't know, I just have a feeling I'm gonna die. Like our eyeballs are gonna get like, ripped out or something. Um... Alright. Go in here. I guess let's continue forward. I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's actually nothing. At least. As far as I know, anyway. Ah, eyeballs, though. Oh, interesting. Oh, you can move this. I didn't realize. Hmm. What's a, it's like a piece of a... Mirror? Or, oh! Or a glass or something. Okay. So it's reflecting the life from here, which is good. Uh, but then what? Because we need more, I think. I just need one more mirror shard. I guess we can use our pocket mirror. There you go. Can you see? Can you see the light? Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. <laughs> I got eyeball. Weird. Why'd you give your eyeball to me? And give back to you? 
What does that mean? How strange. I imagine if I leave, <laughs> if I leave without my pocket watch again, I'm gonna die. Gonna get another game over. Good. I I think they're good. They just want to see a light, <laughs> a little bit of a light, and then they take out their eyeballs. And that's it. They're gone forever. Yeah, never, never forget your your pocket mirror. I guess Did I say pocket mirror. Or did I say I want to say pocket watch. Actually, I always want to say pocket watch. I mean, in my head anyway, a pocket watch is more common. I mean, kind of also reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist. You know, the main character that anime always has like a pocket watch he pulls out. That's like a central plot point or something. Uh, Rebirth, 1785. The painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than the thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? You're very smart, pumpkin. Fate, 1655. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Did you know pumpkin flowers are edible? Are they? Do pumpkins... they grow flowers? I have no idea, actually. Possibly? I mean, a lot of, you know, plants do. They have, like, a flowering stage, you know? That's usually when they, you know, I think pollinate and stuff, and, like, you know, eventually turns into seeds, I think, or something like that. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, Delusion, 1760. The painting of an important-looking fe female aristocrat surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. Punishment. A girl joins her own two hands as her hair burns in crimson flames. Salvation. The painting of a woman laying in bed surrounded by representations of death and demons. I don't like this painting. I mean, you don't like the burning one? <laughs> yeah, there's the burning one too. You know, the burning, she's burning alive. Uh, satisfaction. A woman sits on the throne wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. Hmm, that doesn't sound <laughs> very nice either. Well, something dropped, I guess. Oh. I wouldn't mind having my inside scooped out as long as I had, could have, or uh, as long as I become a yummy pumpkin pie. Wow. Pumpkin charm. Okay. It seems like there's collectibles. There's like pumpkin charms, apparently. Can I see those pumpkin charms? Or... It doesn't appear on our inventory. A sticky eyeball. Retribution. Reunited in the golden room, various smiling women witness the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. You know, these paintings are progressively becoming worse and worse. Such a horrible painting. Numb. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. Futile hope. The group of women ride their mounts into battle dressed in long white dresses. Doesn't seem very combat ready. You know, it's like going to war with high heels. You know, it doesn't seem very practical. I don't know. <gasps> Rifle dominance. Various women engaged in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. Yeah. Bridal virgin. A ghostly pale girl sits a, on a well carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil. Destiny. Grasping the dagger bearing in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mysterious grin on her lips. Hmm. Oopy. Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the frame of the painting. Who's this? Sisterly. The painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. Hatred. The painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. It's like a pirate. She seems to be upset. Hmm. Hello again. Hmm. Just her. Poss no, possibly related? These two paintings? I don't know. Hey, let her go. Get back here. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Okay. We'll go back. Not you? Or is it this one? I don't know who- I wasn't sure who was talking. 
Excuse me, miss. Yes? Could you please show me what you got there? We should never give away our pocket mirror, though. <laughs> you know? Um... No. Daga kotowaru. I'm sorry, but I can't let you have my pocket mirror. I see. It's alright then. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Though I would still love to take a closer look at that marvelous mirror of yours. Hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing else to do, so... Uh, okay, fine, here we go. Alright, just please be careful. I'll be taking this, thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please give it back. How generous of you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer, then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we'll she'll take yours instead. What do I do? Uh, hello, Kitty Blue, by the way. Um, what if I just leave? Bye-bye. I leave now. Goodbye. I go home. I leave. I simply leave. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I can't leave. All right. Well, time to gallows like a painting's eye out, I guess. Somehow. Hmm. It's just a painting, right? That's all. I don't know what to do. Like a kotowaru. Better not. It's funny, you, you, you get a choice. Sort of, but not really. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll pluck her eye out somehow. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. Oh, 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 I'm dead. Game over, alright. There's no, uh, custom death animation, though. You just get a game over. It kind of sucks. I have to do that all over again, though. Alright, let's try this again. Run! Wee! Ah! Wah! Wah! Okay. <laughs> and they're like... And bun too. Got an eyeball though. Mission accomplished? Oh, my pocket mirror though. Where's my pocket mirror? Give me back my pocket mirror. It looks a little bit different. Oh, it's gone dark, hasn't it? Now you've done it. Hmm. Any of the paintings different? Uh, grasping dagger bear into a chest. That's different. Uh, was that there before? I can't remember. Illusion. Punishment. These paintings are the same, though. Maybe I'm misremembering. You actually had the guts to rip out her eyeball. Consider me your number one fan. Sometimes the guilty ones are fortunate enough to walk away unscathed. And paint it over. All the lady's eyes have been scratched out. And of course. Eh, nothing different here, I guess. Ha ha ha, by the way, it says here. I did my job, right? Serves her right. From now on, I'll... I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, yeah, you can have your little toy back. Uh, sanctification. The painting has been ripped apart. The lady who once sat there is no longer recognizable. Sorry. She's freaking dead. I can't believe she's freaking dead. Hee hee ha ha. Do I have my mirror back actually? Let me just double check. It's not my hockey. It's not my hockey bar. There you go. I think it is. Alright.
When Annalise came in, how did she... Uh, how, how she did grin to see Vienna's patch. Mother Vex did whip her necks, causing Vienna's disaster. Hmm, okay. So, Annalise in Vienna, was it? Yeah, Vienna, Annalise in Vienna. Annalise is the person that we got tricked by, I guess, and Vienna is the one with the eye patch. Initially, I guess, she caused the eye patch in, in, in their painting forms. <laughs> you know, she... I guess she, she was vindictive, uh, vindictive about that, and though, and and so she uh, just pretend to be a slave. <laughs> uh, was it? Oh yeah, and and you know, she was spiteful, you know, about that sort of thing because uh, she was punished by her mother. So in her painting form, she just freaking took out the other eye. I guess. What a, what a horrible person. Uh, but here you go. I, we got two eyes. Let's see. Line of sacrifice those in dismay, so I'm about to just childish play. Ryan left, take my hand, her request is your demand. I'm, I'm assuming we're just using both eyeballs. And then this one. There you go. You like your eyeballs? My hand! Ow. It seems we do not share the same vision, miss. Maybe I uh, maybe I put the wrong eyeballs. I don't, know. I don't know if it, I don't know if it mattered, but I guess maybe what was it? I forgot. Maybe put that one there and put this one here. Ah, okay. I mean, it makes sense. It's uh, because we got the red one on the right and the blue one on the left. So we are forever grateful, Miss. And the way has been opened. Play the game. The marble statue stands peacefully, its lower surface covered in ashes. Now let's go. Okay. Pumpkin? A lot of pumpkins around. You know, is this Halloween? Did you know? A human head remains conscious for about 15 to 20 seconds after decapitation. I've heard about that. I don't know how much of that is a myth, though. I feel like, but you know, people always say that. Uh, especially back in the French Revolution, I believe, you know, when the guillotine was used. It was theorized that, uh, you know, someone was still alive even when they, they get decapitated. But I do wonder those footprints. I do wonder how much of that is like it seems like they're conscious, but they're actually not, I guess. Like maybe the eyes are moving or like blinking or whatever, but it could also be just be spasms, you know? From the sudden, you know, death. I'm not sure. What's this? Messe un Gabo. This is German, I think. What are these? Why is it in German? <laughs> you know, it's just because? I'm assuming a uh, fork and knife. Messer, though, I think Messer means knife. You know, it's, it's a type of sword, I think, if I remember correctly. A fork and knife of exquisite golden cutlery. There's a letter I engraved on the back of the fork. Thing. Okay, there's a door here. Um, I was wondering about the right though. You know, like sprint real quick. Ah, so, so fast. What a fast little girl. Oh. Hello. Can't seem to talk to you. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Kidding me? Got cheat me as well. Freaking like Ghostbusters reference in the achievement name. All right, let's go this way. It's so dark. I can't see clearly. Sugary supper. I guess. 
uh, portions of the game, you know, has have little titles to them. Kind of like episodes. Don't make so much noise. Everyone's asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. Fire? What? Did I grab that or? I didn't pick that up necessarily. There's something else that was on fire. I don't know. Hmm. Ah, don't please don't, don't turn me into pumpkin pie. Darkness is where I feel most comfortable. It won't ask any questions. It won't try to understand you either. I got more pumpkin charms, I guess. At least another pumpkin charm. I guess when it says times three, it doesn't mean like I got three pumpkin charms. Rather, I I've picked up three pumpkin charms so far. Is that what that means? Uh, I would have stayed in your room if I were you. Your slumber was a true blessing. Or sleeping pumpkins. Well, that, the, the, the pumpkin said not to wake up everybody, so maybe it's not a good idea to open up this music box. I think that's a trap. <laughs> you know, you're gonna get game over if you if you use that music box. Quite possibly, I don't know. I'm guessing. But at the same time, I want to save. But I want to save, though. But I want to save. What's this? Queen Alleget. Are you pronouncing it? Elgelietes. Eh, 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 dinner party. Royal apple strudel, caramel pumpkin pot de creme, marvelous dream cake, and the queen's favorite cookie cups. Smooth pumpkin mousse, or mousse? Is that, can you that? Mousse? Pumpkin flan, and specialty secret deluxe dessert. A lot of stuff. These look so yummy. There's even apple strudel. Okay, well, the party started. Okay, that means I can save, maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna save now. I was just thinking, you know, I, I was wondering if it was a trap. Like, you shouldn't open the music box when everyone's sleeping they get angry or something. And then they murder you. Like, I'm never gonna talk to you again. Hm, you could turn into a pumpkin pie for all I care. <laughs> Are you gonna show up like that? Hilarious. I very much like our queen. She's truly kind. I hate the person who cried this face into my shell. I'm very uh, down-to-earth pumpkin. I don't be grinning all the time. Green and orange is such an awful combination. I wish my leaves were pink. Okay, these are the silly pumpkins. I wonder if they have a more like... like I wonder if they're just side characters that don't mean anything or like they actually have a more darker role, you know? I do wonder like where their leeches lies and everything. Also, I want to like... Hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna like... Because uh, I always leave... Because the game is in full screen and... I end up always leaving the, the mouse on the, on the game. So I'm just gonna like turn off the mouse. I don't know, it's like slight annoyance. It was, there's like a mouse on the screen the entire time. Let's see... Can I talk to you yet? I've been tanning lately. You think it's working? I don't know. Could you be tanning like in front of a, a window? I don't know that's a good idea. I've heard that uh, a window... It's like you, you get all the disadvantages of like... The sun and, and none of the benefits. Because it blocks all of the good, you know... The good parts of the sun, which is like the uh, vitamin D or whatever. Or at least, you know, it, it makes your skin create vitamin D anyway. Um, I only came for the pumpkin flan. I'm really looking forward to a special deluxe dessert. Everyone's been talking about it. It's our only chance to get, to get together like this. I'm really grateful to her queen. Queen's parties are the absolute best. I'm going to eat until I explode. I'm in a pretty good mood tonight. You can have this. Oh, a pumpkin charm. No, we got times one that time. So I don't know. I don't know if there's a counter that like counts how many pumpkin charms we get. Because I was thinking, you know, because sometimes you get more than one. I was thinking, like, how, how are they counting that? But, yeah, we only got one. 
that time, so it's like, uh... It's multiple, actually. Uh, is there someone sitting here? Such impudence! Mind your matters, you rude hussy! I'm sorry. <laughs> as long as you've learned your lesson. I'm gonna start a diet right after this party. I would really appreciate if these guests would stop chattering. My head hurts. I'm just here to please the queen. I don't even like these people. <laughs> I hate all of them. I heard that the queen is preparing a surprise for all of us. I'm so excited. Our queen is the kindest person you could ever meet. She's a true angel. I'm so hungry. I wish the party would just start already. All right. A lot of snacks. A lot of, uh, delicious desserts. Um, I guess we just start... ...the party? Let me just say the game one more time. Uh, there are two letters, by the way, you see in the save here. I've noticed, yeah, sometimes when you save, there's letters that are filled out. And, um... Especially when you don't have your pocket watch on you, it the, the letters disappear, I guess. So, like, I imagine it's because the letter G is associated with it. So... I guess you had to collect all the items to find out your own name, maybe? I don't know. Um, 